Hi guys, welcome once again to the show and our wine of the week for this week is a modern masterpiece, a tasty Tempranillo from Spain's Rioja, coming right up. Hi guys, yes indeed, this is Tony Melville with another edition of Big On Wine, the show that brings you news, clues and reviews about everything in the world of wine. And hey, if you're new here, why not consider subscribing? All the wines I review on the show are my own picks. I pay for them with my own money. I'm not on anybody's payroll, I assure you. Okay, my wine of the week for this week is none other than this one. It has a very short name, QP2014, sometimes known as Dominum QP. 2014 vintage and the price of this wine is between 15 and 16 euros a bottle. We're talking here about the Rioja area of Spain and we normally of course associate Rioja with the Tempranillo grape. So yes indeed this is 100% Tempranillo and officially uh, categorized as DOC Rioja. It's made by Bodega Classica and they're based roughly 40 kilometers or so northwest of Logroño, which is the unofficial or even official capital of the Rioja uh, region. And uh, Logroño, of course, is about 90 minutes or so south of Bilbao. We're talking about a modern take on Rioja and Tempranillo here. It's a big wine in terms of alcohol, 14.5% um, alcohol, 100% Tempranillo. Let's have a look at the wine in the glass here. So this is the 2014 vintage. It is in colour, a kind of uh, uh, reddish, uh, breaking towards, a little bit towards uh, brown, so reddish brown in colour very attractive looking, a kind of a soft, warm, reddish brown uh, in colour. Uh, in the nose, um, the aroma that I'm getting here is um, not tremendously bountiful. Um, Tempranillo is not a grape variety that has a tremendous amount of uh, aroma in the nose getting a little touch of oak. This has obviously been in oak for a while. Um, ripe fruits and oaky notes in the nose there. Okay, let's see what it's like in the mouth. Ah, okay. Now this is a full-bodied wine with a long, long finish. Um, tannic, very strong tannins in this. So if we're thinking in terms of food, we're going to be looking for something with quite a bit of flavor. Um, full bodied, um, oaky notes, um, ripe cherries, sour cherries, ripe cherries, sour cherries, blackberry, And you know what? In the finish, there's even a touch of licorice, would you believe? So oaky notes, ripe cherry, black cherry, blackberry, touch of licorice there. So this is a wine which is a modern take, as I say, on Rioja. It's a wine which I particularly find attractive. It's very drinkable. It's not too heavy. It's not leathery in any way. It is big on berries. It's kind of a jammy. It's a kind of a good all-rounder, you know. Um, taste of dried fruit, cherries. Toasty, toasty. It leaves the mouth just a little bit kind of dry, wanting for more. Now, this is a young wine. This is the 2014 vintage. This is a wine that will develop. So again, 
you could keep this in cellar for two, three, four years even. I'm sure it'll get better and better. What are we talking about in terms of food? Well, this is crying out, give me meat, give me meat. Um, traditionally, of course, the Rioja is uh, recognized as the wine that goes with lamb. So how about leg of lamb with a rosemary and garlic? Mmm, sounds good, doesn't it? But yes, indeed, a variety of meat dishes, beef stews, casseroles, will all perform well with this one here. So let me bring you the heads up on this wine. But before I bring you the heads up, I'm going to have another little swig. Yes, indeed. Okay. This is QP 2014. Coming in for around 15, 16 euro a bottle, produced by Bodega Classica uh, to the northwest of Logroño in the heart of Rioja. Um, quite big on alcohol, 14.5%. Um, very good choice to go with dark meats, um, lamb, maybe even extend to game as well. A wine that will develop. Um, over the next two or three years. Serving temperature here around the 18 to 19 degree mark. I'm going to give this one a well-deserved four stars out of five. Okay, guys, thanks for watching the show today. And of course, if you've enjoyed what you've seen and heard, please do give us a thumbs up or indeed, why not subscribe by hitting that button up there in the top left hand corner. And we'll be back next week with another great wine of the week for your pleasure and enjoyment. Until then, this is Tony Melville saying take care and bye for now.